how did you find us here? You can't hide from me, Natalie. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not hiding. I mean, we came to the church. I hid in the back. Well, because we didn't want you to see us. We were trying to It's okay. Is there a reason you're here, Jessica? Do you mean, why am I not at the cemetery? Why am I not at Nash's grave? No, that's not what I meant. Anyways, I just came from there. It's over. They buried him. Jessica, we're so Enough sorry. Enough, You can say, we'll change that. So why are you here? May I? Of course, please, come in. Must be uh, tough living here after what you've been used to. We'll survive. Yeah, you're good at that, both of you. You wish I wasn't here. No. We wish things were different. They're not. They're not different. This is what we have to work with. Two very guilty people and me. I'm surprised you'd even let me in here. And given the way I feel, what I said at the church. My sister, it's too late for that now. Just way too late. Are you scared? Because if I was you, I'd be terrified. I didn't come here to fight. Came here to give you these. They're from the burial. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. Mom bought them. Anyways, everybody dropped one in the grave and said something. It was nice. Horrible, but nice. So I thought maybe you guys would want to go to the cemetery and say something, or you can just toss them. No, we'll go to the cemetery. Thank you. He came to the church, I thought. Maybe he wanted to be a part of it. Anyway. Thank you, Jessica. This is, uh, kind of you. No. It's what Nash would have wanted. Doing it for him. It's what he deserves. He deserves to hear both of you say how sorry you are. What you said at the church. Listen, um... I'm sorry, we shouldn't have just come without asking you. That was wrong. We should have, we should have asked first. I'm, I'm really sorry. No. I'm the one that should be sorry. Oh my God, Jessica, you have no reason to apologize to us. Yes, I do. I said some pretty cruel things. You're grieving. And so were you. I was angry and I shouldn't have taken out on you. You know, you've stood by me so many times. You didn't deserve that, no matter how I felt. So you don't hate me? How could I hate you? You're my sister. I was just looking for somebody to blame, and it was convenient to blame you, seeing as you lied to us all about Jared, and, you know, you're the reason that we lost B.E. in the vineyard, but, you know. The truth is, Nash's fall was an accident. We didn't mean for it to happen. Just, no, I would never want to hurt you or Nash. I mean, I love, I love you. I loved him. I'm so sorry, Jess. Me too. You have no idea how much this means to me. I think I do. In you know, the last few days, knowing that I couldn't talk to you or, or be there for you, I mean, it, I, I felt so awful. Well, we can't have that, now can we? You know, we should be moving forward, not backwards. We shouldn't dwell on this. Anyways, I should have... Wait, Je I'm sorry, Jess. I... Okay, I... I know this is asking a whole lot, and I want you to know how much I, I really appreciate your forgiveness, but... Over what happened. No. And no, he, he won't ask you for forgiveness because he thinks he doesn't deserve it. I don't. The fall was an accident, but the rest of the stuff I did, buying into the vineyard and taking over your lives, it was selfish. But you were I put this plan in motion and I wasn't willing to back down. Not for anyone. Because of Tess, Jared. Okay, but when you were here for a while, you know, you changed, and we were planning on, on telling everyone as soon as Charlie told Mom. That doesn't change the fact that I put Nash's business, his home, and his family, as it turned out, his life 
at risk. And I have to carry that for the rest of my life. So do you. So I just want to say I'm sorry. And I'm not asking for anything. Um, but because I don't know if I can forgive you, Jared. But I have to move on. I, I can't dwell on it. I have my kids to think of, so... Besides, you know, you didn't hold those two years in jail over me, so I owe you one. But that wasn't you. That was Tess. But I am Tess. What do you mean you're Tess? I'm integrated. She's a part of me. Right. And sometimes, you know, like at the church, she gets the upper hand. All that anger, that was a uh, pure Tess. But uh, the part of me that wants to take care of my kids and move on, that's, that's Jessica. But you know the difference. As well as you do. <laughs> you know, we're all complicated people. Sometimes the angels win and sometimes they don't. Um, you know, Jessica, I just want you to know, I, I think the way you reacted was perfectly normal. I mean, it's normal to be angry. It's normal to want to get even. It's just, it's human nature. Well, I'm glad you understand. Look, if you need anything, if you just let us know. You need help with free, call me. I will. Thanks. I feel so much better. Suckers. Get out of my way. Who are you and what have you done with Jessica? Oh, my. Jessica has left the building.